Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Base Row on Dockage. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So... Let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what will be installed today. It's an open source no-code database, uh, an alternative to Airtable. Uh, cr create your own online database without technical experience. This is what it looks like. And... Um, the platform grows, developer friendly. It is self hostable, and that's what we'll be doing today. So, that's what we'll be installing today. So, now I'm going to start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to go up to the search and I'm going to type base uh, row. And then now I'm going to go to the Docker, uh, the dockage one right here. Now I'm going to click it. Then I'm going to go in my Docker Compose. And then version three of Docker Compose file format is being used. I'm going to set services, and then the first service underneath the services is called base row. Now, we're in the base row uh, service right now. So, the container name is going to be, uh, going to be called a Big Bear Base Row. The image is coming off Docker Hub by default because there's no year before this. This is the Docker image, and then this is the Docker image tag. This is currently the latest tag uh, that's available, but if there's a newer tag, you can update it. And now I'm going to set environment variables. So base row, public URL. And then you will need to set your dockage IP address in here. And then 7300 is on the host. So that means that it'll go to the URL right here. So now I'm going to map ports of 7300. So it aligns with this environment variable up here. If this does collide with another port on your host, you can change this port. And then you'll, you will need to update the environment variable right here. And then, so um, the, the, the host ports are on the left. The container ports are on the right. You do not change the container ports at all. And then now 80 is on the container. 7301 is on the host. And 443 is on the container. And now I'm going to set volumes. So base row data is a local volume being defined down here. And then on the container side is base row data. Do not change the container side. And now um, I'm going to go ahead and go up here to copy raw file. And then I'm going to go over my dockage and get this setup installed. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down in the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to start my dockage. I'm going to go to Compose, and then I'm going to put a stack name of um, a, ba a base row. And then stack. And then I'm going to come over here to the editor, and I'm going to paste in the Docker Compose over here. So, um, now you will need to put your dockage IP address in. I'm going to put it in now. So one nine two and six eight. So now once you do that, it should be ready to go. I'm going to deploy now. And what that done is it downloaded the doc, uh, the Docker image from the registry, got it extracted, and got it up with Docker Compose underneath because this does use the Docker engine. So now you can see it's going through, and it's starting up everything. So we got it installed. So now I'm going to go over the stack options in Dockage. So um, on, on the home page, you get active, exited, and inactive statuses for, for your stacks over here. And I'm going to go in the stack now. So actions up here, edit, you can go into it, and then you can actually add a um, Nginx or any type of service underneath the services right here with the UI over here. So um, you can also delete it. You can also edit the, in, in the UI, so you can edit over here, and it'll uh, change over here, and vice versa. You can add environment variables, uh, change the networks, internal and external, and then you can set URLs. So, 
the actions are deploy, save, stop and inactive, and then discard the changes. I'm gonna discard the changes. So if you wanna restart the stack, you can just press this. If you want to update the current tag that's on the uh, Docker image over here, um, you can press this. And then you can stop, stop and inactive, and then delete the stack. Now you can see the containers in the stack, so you can see it's healthy, you can see the ports, and you can click on these ports and go to the UIs, if, if it does have a UI, and this one does. So you can also go in, uh, into the bash for this cont container right here. You can also switch to SH2. I'm gonna go in the stack again. Uh, so now you can see a log down here. This is great for debugging and seeing if it's up yet. And then you can see a read-only version of the Docker Compose over here. And you can make changes when you go in the edit over here. So that's a little bit about the stack options in Dockage. So now we're gonna go, go to the UI. So if you're starting your a base row stack, you can see the ports down here. I'm gonna go in to, uh, to the port. So um, now you can put an email address in and then a name and then a password and then now sign up. So now you're inside the admin panel now. So you can go to the settings and you can see your account settings, your password, your email notifications, your database tokens. You can delete your account. Um, you can see workspaces right here. You can create a workspace. Bigbear workspace. Okay, now you can go into here and you can see an admin, uh, a, da a database right here. It's a table. Then you can go, go to projects. So it's pretty neat. And um, you can go to members, invite others to this. And then you can go to notifications. You can see your trashed. You can also go to the admin and then instance ID the uh, allow creating new accounts, allow resetting password, allow everyone to create new uh, workspaces, a, gr a grace delay, and then a maintenance. Um, you can go into and create a new database. And then I'm gonna just say testing. And then now you're out of the database and you can just go in here, and say username, and then you can have notes and you can um, just add another one. So you can go ahead and add a single line text and then you're going to just do a name. And then now you can move this down here. So username, a name, notes. So that's a little bit about a uh, base row. So I just went over start from finish to get base row running on dockage. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video sessions or any community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.